John Sakata came home tonight, home to South Florida, namely the James L. Knight Center, where fans packed the house. Sakata, who's been touring 45 U.S. cities and Latin America, showed the crowd what he's learned while he's been on the road. The challenge is uh, making people excited about what you do, and, and uh, that's, I guess, the essence of being a professional. You want to you know, just do the best you can and, and keep it fresh and keep it uh, energetic. And energetic he was, and it was contagious. songs that make no sense, he has songs that make sense, and that, like, he, he like, sings like he's saying something, or, to, or saying something to somebody. I think he's a star and he deserves it. I mean, this is a, a guy who graduated top of his class, got his master's degree, worked hard, and everything he gets, he deserves. His music's fantastic. But fame hasn't changed this former music teacher. He remembers only a few years ago when he was writing backup songs for Gloria Stefan. Then she and her husband Emilio gave him his big break, allowing him to be her opening act. The rest, as they say, is history. Now you're bringing it home here tonight. How important is it for you to perform your last concert <laughs> tour in a South, Earth, South Florida crowd? Well, it means a lot. I mean, that this whole place is going to be mainly like family, you know, 5,000 family members. Right. Which is, uh, if not family, because I know them, it's, it's people that I know that I that I uh, that have helped me and the whole city has supported me in so many ways so uh, it means a lot to me too. I've been